All right, namaste, namaste, beautiful souls. This is a fire sign reading. Let's get some energy. This is Mercury in retrograde. New moon in Sagittarius. What do the fire signs need to know? Rest, renew, recharge. What does your body crave and need right now? 43 broken out to the number seven. Bottom of the deck. Soul alignment is time for a radical change. How can you show up for yourself in ways that you've never before? 26 broken out to the number eight. So some of y'all had to take a step back. Now 43, somebody could be 43 or 26. Somebody's birthday may be on the 26th of any month. Um, eight and seven may even be significant, all right, to someone. For some of y'all, you had to take a step back in order to do this. For others, um, you're stepping into this light, into this power. Somebody is definitely operating in their power. Um, connection with the moon. Somebody has a connection with the moon. Somebody has a closed heart chakra. Justice from this lifetime is here. Coming more from my fire signs. The moon is Sagittarius. Mercury retrograde. Energy. What are the messages for my fire signs? That's a lot. So someone um, with this clear sentence, uh, clear physical feeling. This is a lose-lose situation for you. Water is significant here. It could be water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may have a affinity to water. Um, some of y'all could definitely be using water to heal yourself. You're a powerful empath. I see dream journal. I do sell dream journals. I sell candles, oils, spiritual bath mixes incense whatever you need i got you sage again so um and i do sell create and sell dream journals the link you all should be able to see the link now easily at the top of the page top of my page so destined faded and somebody um has the spiritual gift of clear audience clear hearing all right so let's jump in what's at the bottom yeah closed heart chakra now for some of you all, this is somebody else or some other people around you all. Um, for others, this is highlighting the awakening, the activation of your chakras. I see 70 plus years. All right, so let me see first what's going on with y'all, Lanny. I didn't really expect that to go so deep. Infinite financial stability. Okay, no, they're telling me to pull North Node messages first. So let's pull from Ascending to New Heights, Volume 1. The light at the end of the tunnel is the path of truth and wisdom. Surrender, a detox process for you, and it paves the way to create, receive, and achieve new. This is beautiful. Definitely rebirth energy. Okay. Some of y'all have went through some type of power moment, some type of end. Some of y'all could be coming out of this. Again, this dark night of the soul energy. You may feel lost, hopeless, depressed, disconnected from yourself, etc. All right. Who do you need to reach out to? All right. So some of y'all, this definitely could be someone that you personally know. This could be uh, a mentor, a guide. I just keep hearing spiritual or religious leader. So transformation, it combines the broken pieces to make you whole. Some of y'all are coming out of this season as a beast. It just keeps coming out. Get in alignment with your assignment. What are your passions? What calls to your soul? What can you do for free and feel at peace while you're doing it? All right, it's very important that we are operating from our own path and purpose, right? Uh, that's where your cornucopia, your divine abundance, all those wonderful things are. Okay? Didn't I say you're in beast mode? What y'all want me to say? Completely focused on your goals. The Midas touch, operating in your power. Driven, ambitious, motivated, tunnel vision. Some of y'all are already in this energy. All right. It's levels to everything. So, you know, please be kind to yourself and others. And as you um, enter new seasons, new chapters, right, it's, it's all new to all of us. So promotion, raise, bonus, e-commerce, innovator, integrator, time to transition, time to adapt. Transmutation is here again. Thank you, spirit. Transformation, transmutation. I told you it's rebirth energy. This is for any and all placements. Be sure to check out all four element readings. 
we all have all four elements in our chart, just not all 12 zodiac signs, okay? Um, successful, independent, driven, powerful, ambitious, inspiring, motivating, and leader is in the reverse. For some of you all, this could be your own mindset you had to shift. Some of y'all, this is definitely tied to the people you had around you all. Some of y'all are definitely, your, your, your spiritual gifts have heightened, activated, and are heightening. For some of y'all, this could be why you pulled back. Because especially being a powerful empath, you all are able to see through the veil, through the illusion, well, the veil gone, but through the illusions, okay? The mask that people wear, you're able to sense and feel other people's energy. So some of you all are definitely introverts now, okay? Um, it's challenging to be in large crowds around certain people in certain environments, etc. Trying with the horn. So clear vision, clear direction. Um, for others, you all are definitely focused on. I'm hearing so much a path you're calling, uh, but they're breaking it down for me. For everyone, it's something different. So put it where it goes, okay? everyone is something different but you're very focused like you may have had a season where you felt unmotivated i just feel like you were exhausted maybe even overwhelmed with some things that you were dealing with in your life something for some of y'all y'all was trying to hold on to something or someone or some people or like something okay that you were meant to release for some, it may have been fighting this dark night of the soul, fighting this rebirth, fighting the spiritual death to have this rebirth, fighting the changes that's going on. I didn't even see this. I mean, I've seen it, but I didn't pay attention. Something is not adding up. Pay attention to your income. Check your accounts for accuracy. Check your bills for accuracy. Pay attention to who you're partnering up with at work, home, etc. I'm telling you. To me, that's just confirmation. So achieving your financial goals, a new home, new house. Some of y'all, this is a new mindset. Some of y'all, this is a literal new home, new location, new zip code. <clears throat> Our area code, yeah, all of that. Some of y'all, this is a new promotion. Some of y'all, this could be a new love. But income and prosperity is here, so be open to receive it. You're making financial progress, all right? Or you will. All my readings are timeless, past, present, and future. I always flip the roses, as need be, eat the meat, spit out the bones. But Spirit said it's time to celebrate you. For some of y'all, you may have felt guilty. Some of y'all was definitely given to connections or a connection in particular, even if it was like a job, okay? Y'all was given to something or someone that wasn't serving y'all highest good. That's just the bottom line. Yeah. Something or someone that made y'all feel left out and orphan. It's, it's like both of these energies is the same. It, it, it depleted y'all. It took from y'all. You're a fork in the road. Some of y'all, maybe you took too long to make a decision. I just feel like y'all were factoring in people or a situation, something that wasn't it. Like you was viewing something in a way you shouldn't have, not because you was trying to intentionally view it incorrectly necessarily. Um, but for some of y'all, you may have been ignoring divine guidance, fork in the road with a leg up. For others, because this mirroring energy with this 34 and 43, we got 13 here broken out to the number four. And we have seven here twice. Again, that tower energy confirmation. And for some of y'all, it's a warning. Some of y'all, your bless, some type of blessing or something was placed on hold because you didn't remove or you haven't removed. Or until you removed, somebody or something had to be removed. Like I said, for some of y'all, it's, it's as simple as your mindset. You had to change how you were viewing your situation, your circumstances. Yeah, between worlds. Um, I get heavy energy as somebody who going through, I don't like to say awakening, just because I know the meaning of it. Um, I don't like to say awakening, but I feel like you, you, this is tied to your spiritual path within five years. Like you're the curse breaker of your family. So you're being challenged to not only get on your rightful path, but the choices you have to make, some of y'all, this is missing out on the fun. Some of y'all, this is a, um, being single. Maybe you this is the first time you've been single in your life. Put it where it goes. But I see similar in clarity. Some of y'all is dating people or some type of circumstance, a situation, environment, group of people or something that reminds you either of another, like a, it's triggering. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, failed. Yeah, it's like some, some of y'all are beating yourself up for not recognizing or realizing something before... 
I'm hearing it, it was too late. Yeah, chariot, but I feel like you have now. 